Perplexity AI just released a brand new update. It's called Spaces, and it's one of the most practical AI updates I've seen in a very long time. Okay, I'm gonna show you these perplexity spaces in full detail with practical prompts and everything you need to know in order to use them the best way possible. But what they are, briefly, they are AI-powered search combined with your own files, your own knowledge base, up to 50 different files. And on top of that, you could give it your own custom instructions. You could choose your own large language models between GPT-40 and Claude models, as well as Sonar, which I'll mention in a second. And you could share it with other collaborators. Up to 10 different people could have access to this when you share it. And then later, I'll show you how to turn it into a blog post with one click because it combines with something else called Perplexity Pages. If you haven't heard of perplexity.ai and you're watching this video, it's basically an AI power search engine. You ask a question, it will only give you the response that you're looking for and it will do all the searches in the background and it will collect all the different data for you in one place. You don't have to click on different links. Now Spaces, what Spaces lets you do is, first is they let you organize any type of content that you're doing any type of research from in these things called Spaces, but it's far more powerful than that. Now this is available to both free and paid users, but paid users are gonna have a huge upgrade that the free version doesn't let you have. So I'll show you the paid version here, but I'll point out what the free version gives you too. Now let me just kind of walk you through what they do in real time here. So I'm gonna click on create a space. So here, let's say I'm doing some kind of research here to improve one of the courses that I'm making. So I'm gonna put generative AI research as my topic. So this is a way to organize your topic, but it gets a, a lot better than that. Description, you're going to be able to share these and collaborate in these spaces with other people. So that's why you may want to create a description here and write that out. Down here, you could choose different AI models if you have the pro plan. With the free plan, you only get the default model right over here. But you'll see GPT-40, for example, is available here, Claude 3.5 Sonnet. These two are fantastic, Claude 3. Opus is fantastic, and you'll see these things called Sonar. They're really good. They're designed for AI-powered search. Perplexity actually fine-tuned these models, and they added them to the mix. But usually, I'm used to using Claude or GPT-40. Actually, let me just do GPT-40. And then over here, you could actually give it your own custom instructions. So if you've watched my videos, you know I'm obsessed with custom GPTs, a mini version of ChatGPT where you give it your own custom instruction and you give it your own files too. Well, this does exactly that, but more. Now, I've actually also created this before called Custom Instruction Generator. This is inside of ChatGPT. It's my little GPT I created that helps flush out custom instructions. So you could type in a simple prompt over here and it will give you something much better. Okay, so I'm just gonna say, help me do some research and improve my scripts. Tone should be friendly and professional. And this usually flushes out a bit more and gives you something a lot more useful for your custom instructions. So this is giving you things for tone and communication, grammar and style. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just copy this over and we'll go back to perplexity. This is, by the way, totally optional. You don't even have to have a custom instructions, but this is kind of the power of it because you could tell it a lot more about how you want this to respond. So I usually like to add a custom instruction. You could keep your simple too if you're just starting out with these. I'm gonna press continue here. Okay, now this is what is created for us. So I'm gonna jump in here to actually use it. If you have the pro search, you're gonna be able to toggle this on. This just gives you more in-depth search. And then over here, what you could do is a few different things. You could add sources. So this is the power of these that I've never seen before. It could not only search the web now, but it could look into your files and combine the two different things to give you a very useful reply. I'm gonna show you some practical examples that I think you're gonna find really useful, but I'll use this one right now. So on the right side, well, we had the custom instruction. I added that, but you could always go ahead and edit that from here. I forgot you could also add emojis right here. So if you wanna add this kind of emoji, you could go ahead and add that too. And down here, you could upload your own files. Right now, you could upload 50 different files, five zero different files here. And they could be 25 megabytes each, text documents that are 25 megabytes each. That's a pretty large text document. I'm gonna upload a bunch of different PDFs. So you could do PDFs, Word docs, any type of text document here. 
And just so you see the file size here, this is 500 kilobytes. These multi-page PDFs are 500 kilobytes. The limit is 25 megabytes per file. So far bigger, that's 50 times bigger than this one. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and close this window right over here, that's all we need to do. So you could see, I have a custom instruction and I have all the files that are uploaded. I could always press the plus sign and add more. If I decide to add more, it's gonna bring me back over here where I could add more files. And now this is where it gets interesting. So if you look down here, because we have files, we could actually choose, do we want this to search the web and our files? And when you see some practical use cases, you'll see why this becomes a whole lot more useful than anything else that's available right now. But you could also choose only one. So if you just wanna interact with your files, well, this lets you do that. And remember, we chose our own large language model. So this is a pretty much exactly like a custom GPT because it's being powered by GPT-40. If I wanted to make the Claude version of it, Claude has something called Claude Projects, well, I would just have to pick a Claude model like Claude 3.5 Sonnet to power this. But the fact that now I could also search the web, well, that's awesome. And you could also attach even more files from this tab, but usually since you have this now, I don't use this one now. And the pro search, you wanna make sure if you have the plus version, which you do need the plus version to upload your own files. The free version just lets you do a web search with your own custom instructions. Obviously this becomes a whole lot more powerful, but the free version is also shareable too. So a lot of use cases even for the free version, which pretty much none of the other things I've been mentioning like custom GPT, you can't really build a free version of those. You have to have a paid subscription to chat GPT the plus version of ChatGPT in order to even create those. So let me just type in a prompt over here and I'll just type in something like this. I'm creating a course on generative AI. Help me improve my existing script from available web data because this is gonna be able to look in what I already have in my scripts and then do some more web searches and then help me do better research than what I've already done on my own. Okay, so let me show you exactly what it did. First, the pro search searched my existing script, so any documentation I gave it. And then it went through reading a bunch of different links. You could see that over here, read some Coursera. And then it did some more searches to come up with some suggestions for improving the script. It helped summarize the findings in this step. And then you could see all the different sources that it pulled from in addition to my own scripts. And here's what it came up with as far as how I should structure my course a little bit better, including teaching practices here. He told me I should add interactive workshops maybe. And if you hover over any of these numbers here, those are where the sources came from. So it takes a bunch of sources, but now it includes your own. This is just a really incredible tool over here for us to use. And then you could also search for images, you could search for videos, you could even generate images. They actually let you kind of create images here if you want to, because there's one more thing I'm gonna show you this could do, where you could publish this research on the web in one click, which is really cool. Now, if you look down here, there's also this related section. This is one of my favorite sections actually with perplexity. This works with regular perplexity search too. It gives you follow-up based on the conversation you're having. So right now it says, what is the best tools for text generation in generative AI based on some of the context that I had inside of my own documentation, inside this chat I'm having. So I could just click here and it will continue this conversation in the same type of format using my custom instructions, everything else that I've been using so far. So you could see this time the sources are coming directly from my own files here. And let me see if it used anything else. No, this time it looked like it just decided to use my own files to give me that answer. So it kind of goes back and forth each time. Now I'm gonna show you how to actually share this with other people because the power of this type of research is you could collaborate with other people and you could also turn this into a public blog post too in one click, something called Perplexity Pages. Before I show you that, I also wanna show you our e-learning platform called skillleap.ai and this platform has courses that I've created over the past year. We just recently actually upgraded and updated most of our courses here on this platform, including one of our most popular courses called Complete Custom GPT Course. As I mentioned, custom GPTs are one of my favorite ways to use AI in general. Every day I use the custom GPT for a different task. But now, since this came out, I'm gonna make an AI powered research type of a course too. We usually add one or two course each month to this platform and including other resources. So all you have to do is actually 
go through here and take an assessment. And this is a four question assessment. And then he emails you three different courses for based on your level of knowledge and it'll just be straightforward on where to get started. And we have a whole community here where you could just talk directly to me, ask me any questions here. And this has a free trial, so I'll put a link in the description if you wanna test it out. With this, you get access to everything. You don't have to buy individual courses. You get access to the community, all our resources. We have about 100 downloadable resources as well. Now, if I go back to the Spaces tab here, these are shareable and you could go ahead and press share. So they're gonna be able to have access to everything, including your instructions, including your files and have a conversation here as well. So just press share. And then you could go ahead and go to this Contributors tab. And under this tab here, you could type people's emails and send them an invite directly from here. I believe you could have 10 different contributors here that will have access to everything, including your instructions, including your files. If you wanted to share any type of search results that you're getting, you could just click this little copy link and then share that link. Anyone's gonna be able to see that as long as the share option here is selected on shareable. So you could also make this secret if you don't wanna share this with anyone. But this is a huge, huge thing right here. Some other things like Claude Projects right now doesn't have a way to share them, which really limits it, even though I really like Claude Projects, which are pretty similar to this. Doesn't let you share them, they don't have web access. So you can see this gives you a lot more usable things. Now, before I show you how to turn this into a blog post, let me also show you five practical use cases here. They posted about this. So planning a business trip, here's the prompt. I have an upcoming business trip to Japan and Australia. Can you cross-reference my safe travel docs and original packing list to update my packing list for this trip? Consider weather condition, travel guides, and so on. So look at the sources here. So all the things that were related to this travel, packing list, for example, itinerary, it, it, they just uploaded that. And then it went and searched the web using their files and web search and gave them much more usable information than just a web search because now it has context of everything they've researched before, every document they put together. Now look at the second one, based on travel again, it says, based on my vaccination record, so you would upload that, your travel itinerary, you would upload that through Africa, what vaccinations should I consider? Well, that would be difficult if it doesn't know things about you already, but now it has very direct context that you upload to it. This one related to home renovation. Which one of these contractor proposals offer the best value based on price, timeline, and material for my kitchen remodeling? That's incredible for everyday use, right? Because a lot of times I actually have to get my AC replaced. Maybe I'll do exactly this with that and see based on the proposals I got, which one makes the most sense. Now, summarizing content, one of the best ways you could use AI, can you summarize the main points from last week's lecture on reinforcement learning? So you get the idea here. It's all about blending the power of web searches, AI powered web searches, where perplexity is kind of leading the pack right now with your own documentation. This is a huge leap for AI powered search right now. Let me show you the last one. Now, clarifying complex topics. It says I've completed this week's work, but time complexity analysis is still confusing to me. Can you summarize the course material for me? So summarizing the material and then do basically a web search to explain the rest and help me understand a complex topic. I mean, just imagine the different use cases. This is very specific for a student right now, but the fact that you could upload anything you have and then have it take the next step for you to help you clarify something with additional web search with context, a huge help. Okay, I'll show you one of their examples here on what's possible. Here's the Art of War review. It's uploaded a file, the Art of War PDF, which I guess I could go ahead and download from here too if I wanna see that resource. So here's the PDF version of that book. I'm just gonna say, how does this book relate to business? Okay, and I'm gonna make sure both file and web are selected, pro search is on. Okay, so you read our own file and then it has some additional web searches over here. You could actually see the search term too that it's using and where it's getting its resources. And here's the quick summary. It gave us many principles applied to business strategies and management. Now look at this on top right here, convert to pages. So perplexity pages is part of the plus plan. And if I click on it right here, it creates an entire blog post. And I've made a different video about perplexity pages. So I won't show you all the details about it, but look at the formatting over here. So it creates a nice heading for you, 
starting paragraph here it breaks down everything based on the sources including the source that you upload to it and it breaks it down just like any type of blog post that you've seen online now on the bottom you could actually add sections by just using a simple prompt or using one of these suggestions like this and it will add a new section down here you could ask for concise or detailed updates on the bottom on the very top if you want to add any type of media you could generate images or you could upload your own images okay i just went to the settings and changed the model so these first two were created with playground which is the default one but with the paid upgrade you could get flux which is an incredible text to image generator right here go ahead and reposition this and any of these sections you could go ahead and insert a new section over here too you could add media over here in any of these sections and it's going to go ahead and find something for the web which again you could go ahead and search on your own you could generate and then you could go ahead and publish this just clicking publish and it's going to go ahead and publish that for you and then you could go ahead and share that link with anyone you want now if you want to add this to your own website it's a little bit copy and paste they don't have any integrations right now with things like wordpress so you'll have to copy all this content and download the images but you could just use it in perplexity i've seen these pages actually show up in regular google search results these days too so hopefully i showed you a glimpse of the power of web search plus your own files plus custom instructions plus picking your own large language models between gpt model between cloud model sonar incredible way to use ai powered research now i think this is going to save people a ton of time this is probably going to become my go-to tool starting today i hope you found this video useful thanks so much for watching i'll see you next time